Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. We're back with another tutorial where I have Kalia trying to figure out how to maintain and style this massive amount of hair that she has. But before we jump any further, if you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would greatly appreciate having you here. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. So let's go ahead, jump straight into this. So as y'all can see, it's already a struggle and we ain't even, we just started. We just started. This is the first 30 seconds of the video and Kalia is still struggling with parting her hair. Now, I, I had to kind of step, take a step back. I did because I consider myself to be pretty intermediate when it comes to styling my own hair. I do my own braids and et cetera, et cetera. So it's hard for me to relate to somebody who don't know how to do their hair. And that is my daughter. So we're trying to find a middle ground. We're trying to find a common ground so we can come together and she can teach me how to help her and I can teach her how to do it correctly, right? You, you see where I'm following, right? So I understand that parting is a very difficult task to do with your own hair. New to me. Again, I don't know that struggle. So if y'all can give me some tips, cause baby, I don't even know what to tell her when it comes to parting this amount of hair. Now, of course, when I was learning how to do my hair, I only had about two strands to deal with. And here, Kalia has a lion's mane's worth. So I know, you know, it's gonna be some adjusting, but I'm trying my best, I am. And she be losing patience with me, I be losing patience with her. And it begins to the point where I'm just like, you know what? Just give me the goddamn comb. Just give me the goddamn, I'll do it my damn self, okay? So we were just trying to get her hair into four sections because I always put my hair into four sections before I do any kind of style. It helps me not be too overwhelmed with the amount of hair that I need to do. And we are doing a wash and go, right? So I feel like this is a pretty, very beginner friendly, basic hairstyle for most natural women and girls. It's something that you can do when you don't feel like braiding up your hair and twisting it for your hair. Of course, it's still gonna require you to put some product in there and it's still gonna require you to detangle because we can't go nowhere without some product and detangling some curly hair. You try to walk up out your house without, without any product or detangling your hair, you're gonna come back to a matted hot mess. Don't do that to yourself. Just go ahead, detangle it, put in some plaques, put a wig on if you need to. That's definitely one of my lazy day hairstyles. But for baby girl right now, we are gonna do a wash and go using some new products that I picked up. And I also kind of want to see how they was gonna behave on her hair so I can give y'all the tea and the lowdown on whether or not these products gonna be it for the curly girls. Now here's a few tips when it comes to uh, styling Kalia's wash and goes. I always make sure her hair is damp and it dries out quickly, especially if it doesn't have product in it. And then I have her detangle her hair, always starting at the tips of the hair and working your way up to the roots. The roots, of course, are always gonna be the thickest part of the hair. That's where we experience all of the new growth. I recently picked up this new brush for her because it helped her kind of with gripping the handle and she seemed to have a better handle with this one rather than uh, my previous detangling or tangle teaser that I was using. Let's get into these products that we are using to achieve this wash and go. So she has already applied the TGIN Rose Water Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner. This helps soften her hair for us to detangle. Then she's gonna follow behind it with the TGIN Rose Water Curl Defining Styling Gel. And she's gonna smooth out through and saturate her entire strand. Then we're gonna follow behind it with the Texture ID thermal styling foam and this is going to act as a heat protectant because we are going to diffuse her hair finally once everything is all done and applied we're going to go with our oil the pretty strands hair oil love this oil I've been using it for years it's definitely one of my top faves so right here she is applying that rose water styling gel now both of those products by TGIN have a nice soft floral rose water smell so if you are sensitive to smells I do not recommend but it smells so pretty the leave-in conditioner that she applied earlier right before that de detangling definitely softens her hair and makes for her detangling a lot easily now I have her following behind that gel with a brush because I want to make sure that she distributed that product well she is not very good at making sure she's coating the entire strand from top to bottom and this kind of helps move that product around for her now she's gonna go in with that texture ID foam she went in with two pumps at first but this this pump or the foam is so thick and luxurious that you do not need a whole lot 
for this to saturate your hair or your section that you're working with. So I rec recommend using maybe one pump at the most for each section that you're doing. So I'm showing her the technique to get this nice curl shingle of, for her wash and go. I'm showing her the finger raking method. So I'm making sure her hair is all smoothed out from any knots or detangles. And I show her how to insert her fingers between the hair to kind of glide the product down and to create these nice curly ringlets of clump curls. I feel like this technique for her was a little bit more easier to manage. She didn't have as hard of a time that she did when we did her braid out and her twist out. So I think the wash and goes and maybe her signature for learning how to care for her hair. It's just gonna be a little bit more time consuming than the braid out and twist out, um, especially as far as sitting to make sure the hair is dried and whatnot. But the products seem to be working really good. I always look for that clump in her curls. If it's not clumping those curls, I know that when it dries, it's gonna look frizzy in a hot mess. So you wanna make sure that the hair is clumping together and that you see this nice definition in the curls before you move on to drying the hair. So of course I tackled the back for her so she could focus on the front, the front of her hair. She can see that a little bit better than trying to style the back of her hair. And of course I came in and gave her any tips and adjusted anything that I felt she needed help in. But I think she did really good as far as getting the finger shingling down, applying her product and making sure her hair was fully saturated and defined. Now it's time for her to pull out that blow dryer and hold that sucker up to her head because I was not about to hold that blow dryer. I said, like, here you go. This is the next part of the, the process of the wash and go. Time to make sure that hair is dry. Now when it comes to drying her hair, I like to focus on the roots more than the ends. The ends are gonna dry faster than her roots and I would rather for her roots to be dry because I don't want any like mildew or sourness to start building up on the scalp. We are all about scalp health, but that is it. Look at those curls, look at the body, look at the life it is bringing back. I love everything about this wash and go and she did so good. But thank you guys for joining us on a, another video. We greatly appreciate having you here. We will see y'all on a, another one. Don't forget to check out our many other tutorials here on our channel. Be blessed and be safe.